There are various things you have to remember when you're writing a letter for general training IELTS writing task one. And one of the main things I always talk to my students about is, is the layout of a letter. Um, which is, you know, there are some similarities but some differences for informal letters and formal letters. And as an IELTS examiner, I notice that uh, a lot of candidates aren't aware of um, the layout of letters in, in English. So I'd like to have a look at the layout of formal letters in, in this video. So first of all, as we can see, in the top right hand corner, you write your address, not your name, only your address. Um, because I know in some cultures you also write your name and you get confused in English, but in English only your address. And it's on separate lines in the top right hand corner. Where they come down um, over onto the left, and on the left you write the name and address of the person you are writing to. Quite interesting that we also write the name here. And then over on the right, we've got the date. Now, of course, <clears throat> in your actual IELTS um, writing task one, you won't be required to write your address and the name of the address, name and address of the recipient and the date, because the instructions usually say, begin your letter, dear. Mm. So this is for your, your general knowledge for when you're writing formal letters in English, but you won't actually need this part for the IELTS test. Okay, so after the address and the date, we actually get onto the greeting. And the greeting is always dear and the name. So it, this will be the person you are writing to, and you'll always begin dear sir, or madam, if you don't know the person's name, or dear Mr. Smith, dear Ms. Smith, if you do. Now you will always use a name here. Um, if the task says write a letter to your bank manager, you will write dear sir, madam, or dear Mr. Jones, if that's his name. Don't write Dear Bank Manager or Dear Manager. I see this a lot um, with, with candidates. Then we'll look at the main body of the letter. And we're going to have the introduction and the main parts and a concluding comment. So you will use separate paragraphs to begin your letter and for the different parts. In this video, I'm not going to talk about the content of a letter. I'll, I'll do that in a later video. Sort of phrases for, for um, the introduction and the conclusion. Today, I just want to look at the layout. And then finally, you will end your letter with a formal sign-off phrase. And that is, yours faithfully with dear sir, madam. Um, yours sincerely with dear Mr. Smith or dear Ms. Smith. So yours faithfully, if you don't know the name, it's dear sir, madam. Yours sincerely, if you do know the name. And then you would put your, your signature here and write your name underneath. It's worth mentioning that a lot of um, formal letters uh, also use regards as a sign-off phrase nowadays, especially business letters, um, business emails. But for the purposes of the IELTS writing test, I usually um, tell my students just to st stay traditional, nice and simple. Yours faithfully, dear sir, madam. Yours sincerely, dear Mr. Smith, dear Ms. Smith. Stick traditional, you can't go wrong. Okay, good luck in your test and I hope to see you again in my next video.